Hello, everyone. Um, right before the snow last week and the really cold weather, we went to our high tunnel and we tried to pick everything we could um, to make sure we could get the last of the produce. However, we think our high tunnel survived, but we did get a few zucchini. So today we're going to be making a chocolate zucchini bread or cake because it can kind of double as both. And um, this is one of probably thousands of zucchini bread recipes. It, however, is my favorite because it is chocolate. So um, that's what we're going to talk about today. And we'll quick make a loaf. Um, we're going to plan to serve this at a brunch um, for Aaron's wedding in three weeks. So once it's baked, we'll put it in the freezer and save it for um, the morning after the wedding when we're going to open all the presents. So, um, so to start with, we're going to have one bowl where we cream kind of all the liquid ingredients um, together and the sugar. So we're going to start out with one and three quarters cup of sugar. And for our sugar, if you remember, you can kind of dip into the canister and fill your cup and then use your um, knife blade to level off. That's one cup and then we're going to add three quarters cup. The next thing we're going to add is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And this is zucchini bread is just one way. And if you'll notice, I just messed up and measured right over my bowl, which I shouldn't have done. So the second teaspoon, I'm going to measure over um, my measuring cup. Make sure I get the correct amount in there. But as I was going to say, zucchini bread is just one way to use up the multitudes of zucchini that, that you get. We've had people coming into our office saying, um, do you need extra zucchini? And it's like, no, we do not need any more zucchini than we already have. So the next thing we're going to add is our half a cup of milk. And again, we need to get down eye level. And apparently pouring out of this little thing today is not working very well. There we're at a half a cup. Zucchini is a pretty versatile um, vegetable. You could bake with it. You can fry with it. You can make casseroles with it. So it's kind of a um, multi-purpose. But yet, and it grows like crazy. So I've already cracked our three eggs. And now you just beat them slightly before you put them into the creamed mixture. The next thing we're going to add is three quarter cup of melted butter or margarine, whichever you prefer to use. We had some butter here um, that we had left over from another project that we cooked here for one of the videos. So we're going to go ahead and use that today. And the last thing we're going to add is our two cups of um, grated zucchini. And I did this this morning in the food processor, so it goes really, really quick. If you don't have a food processor, a regular hand grater will, you, will work just as well. I really like the food processor because it's like really quick. And we have one piece that kind of stayed together, so we'll take that out. And now you just mix all this together thoroughly. Um, this two cups came from one kind of medium-sized zucchini. 
And so we have about eight more zucchini now that we need to figure out something to do with. I was hoping it took several more, but it didn't. Kelly at our office loves like fried zucchini, that kind of stuff. I'm not a real fan of that. I'd rather have it in cake or cookies or bread. So our next bowl, we're going to sift all our dry ingredients together. So we're going to start out with two and a half cups of flour. And if you will remember, um, flour is a different um, ingredient than sugar. We cannot just dip in there and get our flour. We need to kind of spoon it and get some air into it and then lightly spoon it into our cup. All the while not hitting your cup or um, pounding it. You want it to remain really light and airy in your cup. Then once again, we are going to level it off and we'll put everything into our sifter. So we need two and a half cups of flour. This recipe makes two loaf pans of bread. So um, it does make quite a bit. The recipe, as we go along, at the very end calls for um, chopped nuts. Uh, no one in my family except me likes chopped nuts in baked goods, so I always leave them out. But you could use walnuts or pecans, whatever is your favorite um, nut to use. So there was two, and here's going to be a half. So as we put all our dry ingredients in and we will sift them, that will really thoroughly mix them up and um, again make our batter really light and airy. So now we need two teaspoons of baking powder, which is in the can. Once again, you'll use your knife to level off. And oftentimes, quick breads call for either one or the other of baking powder or baking soda as a leavening. And this recipe calls for both of them. One teaspoon of salt. We'll just use our little measuring cup right now. And today we're using regular salt, regular table salt. a half a cup of cocoa, and this is just powdered unsweetened cocoa, I will never understand why we do not put cocoa in a container that you can actually measure <laughs> neatly <laughs> from. I always end up with cocoa everywhere. And once again, we'll use our knife to level us off really nice and level on the top so you don't get too much. Cocoa kind of tends to clump together. So as you can see, our workspace is now very chocolatey. In fact, I have to move it to read my recipe. One teaspoon of baking soda. And I also think baking soda comes in a terrible container to measure out of also. And our last ingredient, which is kind of the surprise ingredient, is one teaspoon of cinnamon. So it gives it a little different flavor than just plain chocolate. So now we will just sift everything together.
And as always, you have a couple little clumps of cocoa that don't want to give up the ghost and go through the sifter. So we've about got them here. And just a quick reminder, you do not want to ever submerge your um, sifter into like the dishpan of water. Just take a um, damp cloth and wipe out the inside, wipe out the outside. You don't want it to get wet and stay wet because it takes forever to dry and it also kind of rusts that screen. So just um, be really careful and just wipe it out carefully. So now we're going to add the creamed mixture to our dry mixture and stir it up really, really well. And as soon as this would be um, is mixed thoroughly, that is when you would add your nuts. I like either walnuts or pecans in this. Either one's really tasty. I was thinking mini chocolate chips sounded okay. And you could add some more chocolate <laughs> by adding some mini chocolate chips. So um, we're not going to be doing that either today, but you could, <laughs> um, you know, alter, you could do, take half the batter out and add nuts to one half chocolate chips to one half so you could vary the recipe very easily that way so basically this kind of looks like a, a cake batter you can see the zucchini shreds in it And there is our batter. This is a um, bread that you need to both grease and flour your, your um, pans so it will come out um, neatly. So I always just spray the loaf pan with some cooking spray and then Take a spoonful of flour, put it into my pan, then you just kind of shake your pan around and let, let all the sides and the bottoms get good and coated. With, and then once it comes out of the oven, if you'll let it set for just a few minutes, um, I usually take my knife pretty quickly and go down the sides so it doesn't adhere really hard to the sides and then wait till it's pretty cool and you can just tip it out and it should come right out of your loaf pan. So as you can see we're good and floured all sides and the bottom and now you'll just put in half the batter. This will bake for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. And as you can see, I'm kind of messy today, so I don't know why I am, but we'll wipe that off before we put it in the oven. I've already preheated the oven. You want your oven um, hot when you put the bread in. I'll put one more little spoonful in, and that's about half of it, I think. Kind of make sure it's good and even in your pan. And we'll wipe off where I was so messy on the side so that it doesn't um, stick. Sometimes you just have days where you're messier than others. And this must be one of them. 
Okay, with that, we will um, sign off for a while. I will put this in the oven. I'll grease my other pan, put the rest in. We'll put it in the oven, and we'll check back in in about 30 minutes.